Welcome to GTEC Technology Solutions Private Limited. Now we will be studying about the general methods of preparation for alcohol. General methods of preparation for alcohol. Intermolecular dehydration of alcohol, Williamson synthesis from alkyl halides and using Grignard's reagents. The intermolecular dehydration of alcohol. When excess of alcohol is heated with concentrated sulfuric acid or phosphoric acid, two molecules condense losing a molecule of water forming ether. That is ROH that is an any alcohol plus HRO under the presence of sulfuric acid presents in R plus water. Ethanol in the presence of concentrated H2SO4 at 413 Kelvin forms diethyl ether. This reaction proceeds by a nucleophile attack mechanism. This nucleophile alcohol brings about nucleophilic attack on protonated alcohol. That is, this oxygenate oxygen molecule attacks on the C2H5 to form O plus ion and thus results in the formation of diethyl ether plus H plus ion and water. Alcohol overheated alumina or thoria. Dehydration can also be brought about by passing vapors of alcohol over heated alumina or thoria. The following diagram represents the dehydration of alcohol. Here ethanol in the presence of Al2O3 or aluminic dioxide at the presence of 250 degree Celsius forms diethyl ether plus water. Williamson synthesis. This is the most important method for the preparation of alcohol. It consists of heating alkyl halides with sodium or potassium alkyl alkoxide. Alkyl halides reacts with alkoxide to form ketone or sodium alkoxide. Here we can see that bromomethane reacts with sodium ethoxide to form diethyl ether plus sodium bromide. And here we can see methyl bromide reacting with sodium ethoxide to form ethyl methyl ether and sodium bromide. This involves nucleophilic attack by RO- on the carbon atom attached to the halogen. Here the O- ion attacks this RBr to form ROR- plus Br-. The oxygen atom replaces the bromine atom thus ethers are formed. This method is suitable to prepare all kinds of ethers that are simple and mixed ethers. It is an important laboratory method for the preparation of symmetrical and unsymmetrical ethers. In this method, an alkyl halide is allowed to react with sodium alkoxide. That is, Rx reacts with R-ONA to form ROR that is an ether plus NaX. X can be any halide. Ethers containing substituted alkyl groups may, or may also be prepared by this method. The reaction involves SN2 mechanism on primary alkyl halide. Here the O on Na- is replaced by the bromine ion and the methyl group replaces the Na plus ion. Thus we get ether plus sodium bromide. Here the alkyl groups can be methyl group, ethyl group, propyl group or isopropyl group. Better results can be obtained if the alkyl halide is primary. In case of secondary and tertiary alkyl halides, elimination competes over substitution. If a tertiary alkyl halide is used, an alkene is the only reaction product and no ether is formed. For example, the reaction of sodium methoxide with 2-bromo-2-methylpropane gives exclusively 2-methylpropane. Here, we can see that the sodium and the bromide ion are replaced to form NaBr and here we obtain 2-methylpropane from 2-bromo-2-methylpropane and methanol. It is because alkoxides are not only nucleophiles but strong bases as well. They react with alkyl halides leading to elimination reactions. Phenols are also converted to ethers by the following method. In this phenol is used as a phenoxide moiety. Phenols when reacted with sodium hydroxide forms phenol OR. Preparation from alkyl halides. 
By eating alkyl halides with dry Ag2O that is silver oxide ethers may be prepared. In this reaction we can see that iodoethane reaction with Ag2O and C2HII that is ethyl iodoethane on heating will give diethyl ether plus silver iodide. Mixed ethers can also be prepared by taking different alkyl halides with dry silver oxide that is methyl iodide plus silver oxide plus ethyl iodide form results in the formation of ethyl methyl ether and silver iodide. Preparation of alcohols and ethers using Grignard reagents. Using Grignard reagents lower halogenated ether may be converted to higher ethers. ROCH2X plus XMGR dash results in the formation of ROCH2R dash plus MGX2. Monochlorodimethyl ether reacts with BRMGCH3 to form ethyl methyl ether plus MGBRCl.